TLC's 9 Day Fiance involves long distance lovers who have met through dating apps and etc., who can apply for a visa that allows the partner of the US resident to enter the US for 90 days only. Now that the show is in its ninth season, do you want to know about the couples of the latest season? Well, then you're at the right place, as we're here with all the details for you. Let's get started. Number 1. Mohammed and Yvette Mohammed's 25 years old and he's from Egypt, while 48-year-old Yvette is from Albuquerque, New Mexico. A love of exercise brought these two health lovers together as Mohammed first noticed Yvette. He then slipped into her DMs, and despite the couple's age difference of more than 20 years, when Yvette flew to Egypt to meet Mohammed in person, they knew they were meant to be. But is Mohammed ready to take on dad duty? Because Yvette has a 12-year-old son with special needs who will actually be closer in age to her future stepfather than her mother. Huh. But Mohammed swears that he's up for the challenge. However, Mohammed has already expressed concern about Yvette's carefree American lifestyle compared to his structured Egyptian upbringing. So, can the two meet in the middle? Or will all the differences in age, culture, and lifestyle collapse before they really begin? Number 2. Jibri and Miona 28-year-old Jibri is from Rapid City, South Dakota, and Miona, who is 23, from Serbia. It was love at first sight for this perfect couple who loves to be the center of attention. Jibri was performing with his band in northern Syria and saw Miona in the crowd. The two have been inseparable ever since, traveling all over the world together, including the place where Jibri popped the question. But while Miona has her sights set on a lavish lifestyle in Los Angeles, Jibri has moved back with his family to South Dakota. Will Miona reign in her yearning for the spotlight of Los Angeles, or will the strain of small-town cohabitation with Jibri's family become too much for her? You gotta tune in to the Season 9 to find out. Number 3. Ariella and Biniam Ariella is 30 years old, and she's from Princeton, New Jersey, while 31-year-old Biniam is from Ethiopia. We first met Ari and Bini in 90 Day Fiancé the other way. The couple met while Ari was traveling abroad in Africa, and within three short months, the couple found out that Ari was expecting a baby. Ari moved to Ethiopia to be with Bini and have their baby, Avi. But things got rocky between the pair very quickly as Ari never felt at home in Bini's native Ethiopia. Ari invited her ex-husband, Leandro, to come visit, which unsurprisingly caused quite a bit of tension in the household. After that bump in the road, the couple received the news that their baby Avi needed hernia surgery. Ari ended up leaving Ethiopia to return to the United States for the baby's surgery. But after hearing about all the fun Biniam had while she was gone, Ari refused to come back. The couple met in Kenya to try to reconcile their differences and applied for Biniam's visa to come to the United States. But with all the turmoil that the two's relationship has gone through, would it last? Number 4. Bilal and Shaida Bilal is 42 years old from Kansas City, Missouri, and Shaida is now 37 from Trinidad. What started as an online hookup turned into a blossoming romance as Bilal and Shaida were finally able to meet up in person after chatting online for months. During the week the two were together, Bilal popped the question and Shaida enthusiastically accepted. But while Bilal is a divorced father of two, Shaida still lives with her parents and has her sights set on starting a family of her own. But can the hesitant Bilal give Shaida the life and family of her dreams? Or will their walk down the aisle turn into a plane ride back to Trinidad? Number 5. Patrick and Thais 31-year-old Patrick is from Austin, Texas, while 25-year-old Thais is from Brazil. Looking for a Portuguese teacher through a dating app might sound strange, but that's exactly how Patrick met his Brazilian fiance, Thais. During a trip to Brazil to reconnect with his father's family, Patrick met and fell in love with Thais. Over the next several months, Patrick made several trips back to Brazil to be with her. Finally, Patrick asked a question and Thais happily agreed. But since Thais has never been to the US, Patrick can't help but wonder if her extravagant Brazilian lifestyle will translate to her smaller life in Texas. Will Thais be able to make the transition, or will her love get lost in translation? Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.